In a fiery showdown that's sending shockwaves through Congress, Representative Rashida Tlaib, Democrat Michigan, has been officially censured by the House of Representatives. The vote, which took place on November 7, came as a response to Tlaib's controversial comments during the Israel-Hamas conflict. The censure motion passed with a vote of 234 to 188, with 22 Democrats breaking ranks to join the Republicans in support. It's a clear rebuke of Tlaib's rhetoric, which some have labeled as anti-Semitic. This dramatic episode unfolded after Tlaib made remarks defending Hamas actions during the conflict, including the tragic bombing of a hospital in Gaza on October 17. The U.S. government concluded that this was a Palestinian terrorist misfire, but Tlaib seemed to echo Hamas claims, igniting outrage. Tlaib's past comments also played a role in this censure. Her controversial statements, such as suggesting that Jews have dual loyalty and her unsettling comments about the Holocaust, have come back to haunt her. This censure marks a significant moment in the ongoing debate over the Israeli-Palestinian conflict within Congress. It's a vivid demonstration of how deeply divided opinions are on this issue, with some members of Congress advocating for stronger actions against Tlaib's rhetoric. As the political world watches this spectacle, it raises crucial questions about free speech, anti-Semitism, and the boundaries of acceptable discourse within the halls of power.